I have way too many stickers. Hello friends, Tara here, but you can call me T-Pal. So I recently did my very first Q&A. And in that video, I revealed um, an addiction, you could say, a personal problem that I have. And in my defense, it is enabled by my fiance, my dad, my fiance's family, my best friend. They are all enabling this addiction that I have to stickers. It's not the worst addiction you could have, but it's definitely a sticky situation. So today, I am going to do a long, long procrastinated task of organizing my entire sticker collection. I think what made me put this off for so long is because I was trying to come up with this like unique cool way of organizing my stickers and I just came to the realization that there is no cool way to do it. I just need to do it. So today I thought I would share my sticker collection and show you how I'm deciding to organize it, which unfortunately is not going to be unique or groundbreaking in any way. <laughs> but I have a lot of things in front of me, so let's first address the plan and then we'll get into the stickers. So I've decided to organize my stickers in this three ring binder that already has stickers in it. <laughs> so clearly I've had this thought before but just didn't execute it. Um, my friend Steph, if you're new here there's two Stephanies in my life. There's my best friend Stephanie who I only ever refer to as Stephanie and then I have another friend Steph with two F's and I only ever refer to her as Steph. You know I have a problem when I have a system for organizing people named Stephanie in my life but not for my stickers. So anyway, Steph gave this to me for either my birthday or Christmas and I haven't fully utilized it but I decided this is going to be where my stickers live. It's very cute. It has two eyes on it. One of them is closed. It says wink wink. It's winking. Hello. And then I'm going with the very, very generic route of putting my stickers into clear page protectors. But that wasn't enough organization for me, so I decided I'm going to make tabbed dividers so that I can quickly get to sections of stickers and to do that, I didn't buy tabbed dividers. I'm going to use this tab punch board to make my own tab dividers to my specifications. And then I'm going to be able to hole punch them with this special A5 sized hole punch that does seven holes at once. I also have my paper cutter to cut the cardstock to the correct size for the tabs. And then the rest is just all stickers. So. The first step is I'm going to kind of organize my stickers into categories because right now they're just all out in front of me. One other thing I need to address is this shirt. Um, normally when I do a video, I at least attempt to make myself look nice and put on like a somewhat nice shirt. But today I decided to go with one of the best shirts that ever existed. It's Godzilla, who you're probably familiar with, destroying Proctor's Theater, which is a local theater in Schenectady. It has a lot of history. So it's just very fun that I have a shirt of Godzilla destroying a local theater, and I just didn't want to change it. So that's my choice. The one thing I haven't figured out yet is how I'm going to deal with all of my sticker things that are larger than the binder. I haven't really thought of like thought that through yet. So I feel like the types of stickers that I have fall into a few different categories. I have deco stickers which are usually Korean but don't have to be Korean but I feel like most Korean stickers are this type of sticker and a perfect example of that is if you're a longtime viewer the grumpy bear. And then I have what you would consider actual planner stickers which are stickers that either have labels that you would want in a planner like birthday, workout, payday, whatever. I have entire books of those 
And then I have larger stickers that I wouldn't necessarily use in a planner unless I was putting it like on the inside cover where it's blank, which I often do. Um, and I don't know what you'd call that, but I have like these that my friend Stephanie gave me. They're like all this, uh, roughly this size. And I also have a whole set of office stickers my future sister-in-law gave me. It's so weird, like, when you become engaged, like, you're trying to figure out what to call everybody because you're like, well, they're going to be this, but they're not yet, so what do I call them? Also in the sticker category is, like, travel stickers, stickers that I might get in places that I've been, or stickers that I've gotten from, like, businesses, like this classic one from Think Geek that I can't bring myself to get rid of because I don't even know if Think Geek really exists anymore. And then there's always stickers that you love so much that you can't bring yourself to use it, and this is one of them. It says, warning, do not step on the guard dog, and has a silhouette of a Pomeranian, and it's so funny. Mike gave me that in my stocking, and I cannot bring myself to use it. I'm obsessed with it. So obviously I'm not going to go through and show you every single sheet of stickers here because that video would be four hours long. But I will show you like basically what I have, if not like every single sheet of every single sticker book, and we'll go through it as I organize them. So I've pretty much divided all the stickers into their categories, but here's where it actually gets sticky, and I hate that I keep using that pun, but it's a real problem. So you have sticker books like this. This is Wonton in a Million. I know they sell it at Michael's, but I got it as a gift because I'm obsessed with wonton soup. There's stickers in here that I would consider to be deco stickers, but then there's entire pages that are more like a planner sticker. So for these, I'm actually going to have to like tear them out of the book and like divide them up even more, but it's okay because Normally when I am looking for a sticker, I do care more about the category than the design. So I would prefer to have them divided into their type than like to keep all the wonton stickers together. And then one thing we really need to address is these Franklin Covey stickers. If you don't know Franklin Covey, there's a subset of the company called Franklin Planner, and they have this collection called Planner Love. It may seem like, oh, you bought this set of stickers and it had multiple pages of the same stickers. No, I just bought so many packages of these stickers. That's why I have multiples of the sheets because I bought several packs of them. You can see they have the seven holes on the side. Everything with Franklin Planner um, pretty much comes like that so that it's compatible with their binders. That's also why I made sure when I was choosing my sheet protectors that I got the seven hole punched ones. I want to be able to move this to like a nicer binder if I choose to one day. And if I only did three punches, I would end up having to re-punch everything and redo the sheet protectors. So I made sure that I was covered in case I want to move to a six ring binder someday because this would be a nightmare to do twice. So anyway, this is like what they look like. They, they come on these sheets. They fit very well in your binder system if you use one. But I haven't been using a binder system. So what I have is this awful pile of half or third like of the sheet that I have cut either to make them fit in the back pocket of my notebooks or in my planner protector because it has like these pockets. I don't know why I did this to myself. It's an absolute nightmare. There's probably 50 sheets like this and they're all partially used. Some of them have never been used probably because it's a nightmare to look through them. Like I forget what I even have. I wish so badly that I kept them nice like this. Ow. <laughs> but I didn't know that I would someday want to organize them. And the whole point of this is to make it easier for me to find stickers. It's just time to put them all in one place. I'm taking a preemptive ibuprofen. All right, I decided the best thing to do is to just start. I decided I'm gonna start with the Franklin Planner stickers and that's going to be a tab section. 
but then I'm going to further organize them in their sheet protectors. I got this tab punch board a few months ago and I talked about it in my video that's called Oops! I did another stationery haul because I didn't plan on buying a bunch of stationery items. And I went in depth about how it works there. So I'm not going to explain it again in this video. But basically this little board has everything you need to create tabbed things. Um, I've actually used it in my bullet journal in a bound notebook. I've made tabs on it. It's actually really easy. And it's nice because pre-made tab dividers can be kind of expensive and obviously anybody can like just cut a tab shape in paper and that's fine but this just makes it really easy and all your tabs come out uniform. I want my dividers minus the tab to be eight and a half by five and a half. I have to add the ruler onto my paper cutter because it's not big enough to go five and a half wide. And then I have this hole punch that does seven holes. It is from Franklin Covey. And that's another thing I talked about in my Q&A is how I used to be like really into Franklin Covey products. What I'm trying to say is you don't need all these fancy tools to create tab dividers, but these things make it so easy. So I am going to link them below because if you're interested in doing anything with tabs or dividers or hole punches or whatever. These are like my tried and true things that I keep on hand and they're all like very compact so they don't take up a ton of space like a giant paper cutter would. This is from We Are Memory Keepers and I already have my eye on a few other punch boards that they have because after using this one I'm like so interested in their other products. There's one I know that I'm going to get that's going to help me with my wedding because I plan to DIY a lot of stuff but we'll get there when we get there. Alright, so since the Franklin Planner stickers were already in the front, I'm going to leave those the way they are. I'm not going to put them in sheet protectors. I have further divided my Franklin Planner stickers into even more subsections. Also, these are top loading, if you cared. So the first Franklin Covey sticker category is any stickers with words on them. Most of them look like this, but there are some outliers that look like this, and they are from newer Planner Love collections. The next category is small banner stickers. I really, really like these to make events or tasks stand out in my bullet journal, and I use them quite a bit. That's probably why I have the least amount of them, because I really do use these a ton. The next category is larger banners. Um, it's hard to see on some of these, but all of these stickers are shaped like a longer banner and now some of them do have words they just don't have the same vibe as the other ones they're more abstract the next category is symbols all of my older franklin covey stickers came with these small tiny symbol stickers that are actually really useful you can see like i've used a lot of them and i've used entire sheets that just like aren't included in this anymore. They have circles, triangles, and hearts in a bunch of colors, and a lot of them are foiled, which is really nice. Lastly, we have more symbols, but these are less abstract. You can see there's a hashtag, an ampersand, a little barbell, which is cute, and these are all the same, and they're all gold in all of the collections that I have purchased. Obviously, if I want to look through any of these, I'm going to have to take them out, but considering the piles that I was already having to go through to find what I wanted, this is already going to be much more convenient because I will know exactly what I'm looking for and exactly which pocket it's in, and it'll take me much less time to go through than if I were to go through all of these sheets every time I'm looking for a particular sticker. I think I am still going to keep stickers in my notebook protector, but I'm going to choose the ones that either I know I'm going to use the most, and then if I have any stickers that go with my current theme, I'll keep those with me. For example, my theme this month is jungle, and I just happen to have a sheet of jungle deco stickers, so I have those that I'm going to use in my planner. After next month, I'll remove them, and if I have any stickers that happen to go well with my next theme, I'll 
bring them over but so I'll still carry some stickers with me but I needed a place for my entire collection because there's no way I'd ever need my entire collection at once like I can make it through a day at work without all of these stickers believe it or not all right so far so good I'm gonna wait until the end to label all of the dividers because I'm not sure what color I want to use for that yet the next category I'm going to do is deco stickers I'm not sure if you can relate to this or not but I feel like one of my big things that I've been trying to do mentally during quarantine is find the positives in the situation if I'm being honest it hasn't been that hard for me personally to come up with the positives because nothing that horrible has happened to me. Um, I've had some stress over work things, but it's mostly kind of resolved itself. I haven't had to cancel any major events. Like, I was gonna do more for my birthday. I ended up getting engaged, so I can't really complain. I'm fortunate to have kept my job. So for deco stickers, I have wonton in a million. I have various animal stickers and the rest are like plants or amusement parks or basically anything that's not an animal. But I use this as an example of something that I would have probably put off for months and months and months and months and months because it's so low on my priority list of things that I need to do. I don't know when organizing my stickers would have reached the top of the list. Due to quarantine and having all this free time, I get to organize my stickers and stop putting it off. Because after this, we're all going to be able to say that we lived... Did you see the lights flicker? There's a really bad thunderstorm outside. But after this, we're all going to be able to say that we lived through a pandemic. Hopefully, our kids, our grandkids, will not be able to say that. Like, I'm just hoping. <laughs> and it's kind of hard to think of anything else that would affect the world and our lives more than that. Barring some kind of... So if you're wondering why my shirt is suddenly wet, I said the lights flickered, right? We're having a major, major thunderstorm right now. And I had to go out and bring my herbs inside and I, I even with an umbrella I am this wet you don't even want to see my lower half <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't not address it because I'm clearly soaking wet but I decided the next category is going to be planner stickers that's the one I have the most of so I want to kind of get it out of the way because then the rest is like a breeze can you hear the thunder I will be so interested to see if you can hear it when I edit this. So this sticker pack in particular worries me because there are roughly a million pages. 882 stickers. A lot of them are decorative like these cool hollow ones and these that are just like random things like pizza but then you have these that are quotes. You have these that are holidays like clearly planner sticker vibes. These are obviously planner stickers. So I'm gonna have to go through this further and like further divide it. I also have a bunch of these stickers that Mike gave me one year and they are all from Target but they all have this happening at the top when I pulled them out of the package. So I'm just gonna go through real quick and cut this thing off of the top because it makes the pages like get stuck on each other and it's annoying when you're trying to look through them. There's also these that are also from Target, but just a different pack. And these are like straight up planner stickers. I also have this set of miscellaneous stickers, but they'll just be in a miscellaneous pocket. And then I have the other half of the wonton in a million stickers, the ones that I deem to be more planner stickers than deco stickers. All right, after putting all the planner stickers in, now this thing is like basically full. So good thing there's not too much left to go. These are the stickers we have left. So I have this book of quote stickers. They're all clear quotes, like random quotes. Got it for a steal, $2.99, originally $5.99. I have all of these like standalone stickers. I have these really cool scratch off stickers that I actually have two unopened packages of. So these are fun. I have some random stickers like these I got for free from an Etsy purchase. These are stickers from Etsy that I buy every year from the same person when football season comes around to mark off the games in my calendar. I got this 
like clearly semi-used set of stickers from a stationery exchange that I did through Reddit once. <laughs> I have these craft paper stickers that I'm clearly going to have to cut in half to fit into my binder, but these are from the Target bins. These are a similar thing from the Target bin except they're foiled. And then I have various holiday stickers. This is from a company that I loved the look of these stickers and these stickers and these stickers, but they literally rip when you try to take them off the paper and you have to be super, super, super careful. And I actually got a refund on them, but kept them. And then I just have various letter stickers that are from all different sources, but I think I can fit them all in and they're all just gonna go, besides the holiday ones, they're all just gonna go into like a miscellaneous category. So since we're kind of approaching the end of our journey, I would like to know if you guys, because I'm sure if you're watching this, you're at least a little bit into stationery and planning. How do you feel about stickers? I know there's people who are like really into their pens. There's people who have like a million pens and that's what they're about. But I wanna know if there's anyone out there who's really into stickers like I am. There's been other planner supplies that I've gone through phases with. When I was still using Passion Planner, I had this phase where I used a stencil all the time, specifically a stencil that Mike bought me. So there was like an airplane, a dumbbell, maybe a phone, you could like if you were to call somebody, an envelope, like a bunch of random things like that. <laughs> So I knew there was no way around it. I'm just gonna take these very long letter sheets and just cut them in half. Just being really careful not to cut the actual stickers. So I've put all the stickers that I wanna put in my binder. It's full, it's definitely full. It's okay, it's okay. It's gonna look kinda normal on my shelf. I'm surprised though I only went through one um, package of 25 sheet protectors because I was like, pretty good about the categories but oh my god <laughs> it's like full it is full but we'll do a flip through and I will show you it completed important note before I end the video. This should in no way discourage friends and family to continue giving me stickers as gifts. Wink wink. Um, we can always get a bigger binder. We can get more binders. Um, in fact, I do have an entire unopened package of sheet protectors that, you know, it's just gonna sit there empty. So, uh, that's all I'm saying. This shouldn't indicate that we've reached any sort of limit or capacity. Sure, the binder itself is pretty full, but like I said, there's so many binders in the world that would love a good home and a good purpose, such as to house more stickers. That's that's just an important message I had. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If it is still July 2020 when you're watching this, I might still have a giveaway open. You can find that info in my July 2020 bullet journal setup, which was jungle theme. So if it is not currently July 2020 when you're watching this, then don't worry about that. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.